Nevada in Portsmouth. Today just going to take a very brief look at Yesu's FTDX3000. Uh, straight away the obvious thing with this radio and reasonably new for Yesu is the TFT colour display which all looks very nice. Nice big S meter on here, nice big signal meter, clear and easy to see. Uh, the needle or the virtual needle on it is really thick. So it's quite obvious, it's very real time, it's not stuttery or aliasy or jerky or anything like that. It's perfect, it's like a, like a real analog meter. So straight away, I like that. We've got a spectrum display down the bottom, uh, showing the band, and again, you can set that up to cover the whole band or 10 kilohertz, whatever you like. It's real time, so you can see that and be receiving at the same time. This one here is in the audio domain, uh, that little one there. Still got to investigate that a bit further. You can do a waterfall display as well. Here we've got a little bit of info telling us about things like antennas that we've got in, what amp is in, have we got any attenuation in, what filters are in, etc. So it's like a constant monitor so you can see what's on or off. We've got the amplification selection for the front end, two stages and you can bypass it attenuation as well we've got uh, the ability to switch the roofing filters they will auto switch or you can manually select it and that's in the first IF so let's have a look what have you got 600 Hertz up to 15 kilohertz so there's about four in there noise blanker and three settings for the AGC automatic gain control frequency display here also shows you your mode main VFO wheel and a sub VFO wheel. There's not two separate receivers in here but if you're working say uh, a split you haven't got two receivers but it's very easy to do. You can do everything you want to do with a combination of the main VFO and the sub VFO here. Uh, along the bottom we've got mic gain processor, uh, notch filter which is an IF notch and it's very very high Q. That's excellent. Um, also we've got uh, APF automatic peak filter and the uh, contour filter which is like a DSP filter. On this radio there are lots of DSP toys, lots of excellent DSP filters and that's come on in leaps and bounds and that's one of its pluses. Uh, shift and width control so I'll just turn it up if I can a second. We, we haven't got a great aerial on at the moment but it just gives you an idea. So very very easy even for someone that doesn't know anything about filters very very easy to adjust the filters on this. You literally narrow it up there and you see the filter narrow in there you widen it up there so for someone that's never ever used these filters before dead easy to use for someone that's a big DX station again you've got all the bells and whistles that you can do pretty much whatever you want uh, we've got an excellent ATU on board by the way I'll just quickly put it in a tune cycle so actually it's taken a bit of time this time because it's the first time we've tuned on this band I've played with this radio a bit and after a couple of operations out of a band, it remembers all the settings, it tunes pretty much instantly. So there we go, that's our very quick review of the FT-DX3000, the ASU transceiver. If you've got any questions, we've got this radio in stock, and you can always call us 02392 313090. We've got finance available, and any questions you've got on the radio, don't forget to check out the website nevadoradio.co.uk.